Now, looking to beyond the Earth's horizon, an increasing amount of trash is orbiting our planet. Scientists say the amount of space junk circling our planet is massive, fast and moving and potentially dangerous. This week, European experts are meeting virtually to devise new plans on how to deal with space debris, including sending out a new fleet of orbital trash collectors. Earth is slowly being wrapped in a cloud of debris. Experts estimate that nearly 130 million pieces of scrap metal are currently orbiting our planet. Most are only a few millimeters in size, but there are also tanks, rocket stages, and old satellites. Because of their high speed, even small fragments have the potential to cause significant damage. As a result, space junk is now being monitored. Radar and laser systems can see objects between 5 and 10 centimeters large. They can also show where the debris is located. If a collision is imminent, satellites and even the space station can be programmed to change course to avoid the debris. But dramatic collisions have already occurred more than once, like in 2009, when a discarded satellite crashed into a telecommunications satellite that was still in use. This created a cloud of thousands of pieces of debris. Today, this junk still circles the Earth. Space debris like this could cause further collisions, leading to an uncontrollable chain reaction. That's why researchers and engineers have decided to clean up the trash in the Earth's orbit. They want to catch tumbling satellites with huge nets from a safe distance, like catching fish in the ocean. Their goal is to pull the space junk out of the danger zone. Researchers have already conducted initial tests. The European Space Agency is working on robotic systems that can grab satellites. They'll push them towards the Earth until they burn up in the atmosphere. In 2025, scientists will launch ClearSpace-1, a demonstration satellite. It will capture a drifting 100-kilo rocket stage, bring it out of orbit, and burn up with it as they descend to Earth. ClearSpace-1 will be the first step towards space junk disposal. Now, for more on that, we're now joined by Tim Flora. He's the head of the Space Debris Office at the European Space Agency in Darmstadt here in Germany. So how soon will those trash collector robots be uh, ready to get to work? Well, as we heard already, Clear Space One, our technology demonstration as the first of its kind for an end-to-end -end removal of an intact object, is due for launch in 2025. But of course, more has to be done after that. This is just a demonstration. So why is this trash in outer space, not even in outer space, and actually uh, um, quite close to Earth, why is this trash circling this planet so, so dangerous? The issue is the high orbital velocity, as we call them. So this is the, the speed and the the energy that even tiny objects have when they circle our planet. Even a one centimeter or a few centimeter object with this velocity of seven and a half kilometers per second has enough energy to severely damage an intact satellite, even to completely destroy it, because the energy is equivalent to a hand grenade. So, uh, are we doing this because we can, or is there really a, a cost benefit? I mean, this mission of, of trash collection uh, must be very expensive. Yes, indeed. Unfortunately, we have made uh, mistakes in the past. We were not. Uh, good enough in mitigating the creation of space debris. And that's why explosions and collisions have happened. And if you ask about it, the cost, the risk is that we lose the orbital regime as a resource. And think of all the daily applications we're all using today in the modern societies that rely on a space-based infrastructure. I'm not only talking about satnavs and, uh, and, and weather forecasts. I'm also thinking of a bit more hidden things like global coordination of trading and if we would lose this infrastructure, um, there is no other orbital regime around our planet. We could not proceed in the way we are using technology. That's the risk we have to face. Tim Flora there, head of the Space Debris Office at the European Space Agency in Darmstadt, Germany. Thank you very much, Tim.